Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and WandaVision just revealed an Avenger origin story, Monica Rambeau transforming into Photon, or Spectrum. I assume she'll go by the name Photon, since that was her mom's call sign. But either way, a hero inspiring kids everywhere to break barriers, expose themselves to radiation, no protective gear. Uh, okay, kids, maybe don't try that at home, especially if you live near a power plant. <laughs> But there's still a lot we don't know about Monica. Like, what are her powers and how do they work exactly? Why is her anatomy unique? So that radiation exposure supercharges her while giving no apparent superpowers to others in the hex. Well, by looking into the visual clues from episodes, plus the wonderful Tiana Paris's latest hints and interviews, and other details we picked up about her secret history with Captain Marvel, we can start to figure out why this origin story is being kept so under wraps. Because maybe big reveals coming, folks. Just look how damn excited Tiana is. After episode seven, she explained to Jimmy Kimmel Monica's powers. Monica can absorb energy in the comics. That is what her superpower is. It is yet to be revealed just exactly what it is in the MCU. We, we get a taste of the fact that there is something that has changed and we have to stay tuned to find out exactly how that will manifest itself. But in the comics, she can absorb all energy on the electromagnetic spectrum. Yeah, notice that Tiana specified in the comics there, so the story will be a bit different in the MCU. But to go a bit more into that comics history, Monica Rambeau actually held the mantle of Captain Marvel before Carol Danvers did in the late 80s, when Carol was going by the name Ms. Marvel, decades before her 2011 relaunch that inspired the MCU version of the character. Monica, later going by the names Photon and Spectrum, actually harnesses her energy from another dimension. This is the case with quite a few Marvel Comics heroes. Nightcrawler technically teleports to the Brimstone dimension in between destination points in our dimension. Cyclops' optic blasts technically come from portals in his eyes to another dimension. But essentially, Spectrum Monica can turn into a wave of electromagnetic energy, capable of moving at the speed of light, absorbing or expelling all kinds of radiation. Like Captain Marvel, it's a bit ill-defined, which is why I am so glad WandaVision seems to be putting it into clearer terms. Now, this series right now made it seem like these powers only emerged in episode 7, the moment Monica shoved through the barrier. It's a beautiful sequence, mixing the voices of Monica's past and splitting Monica into a spectrum of her various selves in order of her priorities in life. Daughter, then explorer, then sword agent, then rescuer, so that her final step merges all these as an Avenger. It also gives us a kind of visual language of how Wanda might use this hex to split reality into a multiverse. The visuals pull a projection of Monica's face out of her, borrowing Scott Derrickson's homage to contact during Doctor Strange's multiverse trip, a spectrum of realities, aka a multiverse, one that eventually collapses back into one reality, with that traveler changed. And in Monica's case, her eyes now glow blue as she can see the radiation coursing through the surfaces of the town within the Westview Hex. Now I keep comparing this to Neo seeing the Matrix code, that is obviously the reference point, Monica can see the illusion's machinery, meaning she is immune to the smoke and mirrors. That also goes for the post credit scene, in which her eyes glow purple as she sees Agatha's purple magic flowing through the vines. Rather than Monica being a captive of that magic, I think this just means she can see it, whereas others in the Hex can only see whatever Agatha wants them to see. But just to be clear about the rules here, does the Hex radiation give everyone exposed to it these same kind of powers? Like Darcy, Agent Monty, Agent Franklin, the Beekeeper, other sword agents and Westview residents? Well, clearly not. I'm sorry to disappoint your Phoenix theories. Last I checked, Phoenix doesn't ride a unicycle. Yet Monica's physiology was weird to begin with before all this. After her blip back in episode four, she wrecks a dude taller than her just by bumping into him. After her expulsion from the hex, her x-ray scans show up blank and she just shrugs them off weirdly. Wanda was surprised to see her still alive afterward. But you are the one in control. You're still here. In episode six, she similarly waved off Darcy's warnings that the radiation was affecting her DNA at the molecular level. And craziest, if you watch closely right before the third pass, Monica rips the rover hatch off its hinges. God damn, are we sure this isn't a She-Hulk origin story? Monica clearly already had some kind of powers and she knows it. That's why she initially just stuck her hand in the probe despite Jimmy saying not to do it. So really the question now becomes, what happened to Monica in the past to make her this way? But before we continue thank you to bang energy for sponsoring this video uh, 
every can of Bang Energy has zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugars, and zero artificial flavors. Each 16 ounce can contains 300 milligrams of caffeine, super creatine, COQ10, and BCAAs. I am sipping on rainbow unicorn, not like those thundercloud unicorns, the unicorns that make you feel happy when you sip them. It's just sweet and light, like you're on the back of a unicorn leaping over a more depressed unicorn. I honestly rely on bangs when I'm shooting those early morning after shows, and I don't want my eyes to look like I'm half asleep. When I'm trying to break down these Easter eggs, I need my mind to be alert. Check out Bang on Instagram. You can get 10% off your order at bangenergy.com when you use the code NEWROCKSTARS10. <laughs> Rainbow! There you can buy a variety pack of Bang Energy or grab a 12 pack of Citrus Twist, Bangster Berry, the new delish strawberry kiss. Use my code NEWROCKSTARS10 and receive 10% off your Bang Energy order. That's code NEWROCKSTARS10 for 10% off. Captain Marvel must be involved. You've noticed how Monica cringes every time Carol is brought up. Well, I'd argue that Captain Marvel came close. Her powers came from an Infinity Stone too, right? We are not talking about her, we are talking about Wanda. I know your history with Carol Danvers, and all you people who left. My mother would appreciate your loyalty. She's not the only one we're loyal to, Captain. Monica's memories with Carol that we saw in Captain Marvel echo in her mind the moment she blipped back and during her transformation. Lieutenant Trouble, your mom's lucky. When they were handing out kids, they gave her the toughest one. And Nick Fury saying, glow like your Aunt Carol is key. There must have been some past incident in which Monica joined Carol and came out of that radioactive. Sorry to get dark here, but maybe even the radiation that gave Maria cancer came from hugs from her daughter. It's sad, I know, but that grief could have led to Captain Marvel's absence from Earth until 2018, when she coolly told off Rhodey that she was just too busy to help them protect Earth. And if you don't mind my asking, where the hell have you been all this time? There are a lot of other planets in the universe. And unfortunately, they didn't have you guys. So I see two paths that explain Monica's past. WandaVision could go the mutant route to suggest that Monica Rambeau might have been born with the X gene, as Wanda likely was. And that's why cosmic radiation gives them powers and not powers to everyone else who gets exposed. The radiation is just activating something in their DNA that was there when they were born. But alternatively, Monica's physiology could be the result of a past space mission, say cosmic rays that hit Monica along with other sword astronauts, which would give us the Fantastic Four. Now, I'm still not convinced her mystery engineer is Reed Richards, but Tiana and Kimmel did joke about her Fantastic Four-esque wardrobe. And now I see this um, dress that you're wearing is very similar <laughs> to the uniform of the Fantastic Four. This is the Easter egg! Maybe that's the Easter egg. Are you gonna burst into flames or turn invisible or? Oh gosh, in three, two, one. <laughs> Not that that would make Monica's one of the Fantastic Four, but the incident that created them in the MCU could be the same incident that set her up to withstand the radiation of Westview and become Photon. What do you think broke Monica? You can support this channel by checking out one of our great merch options at NewRockStarsMerch.com, like this unusual couple shirt. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Voss. Follow New Rockstars. Subscribe to New Rockstars for all your WandaVision theories and questions. Thank you for watching. Bye.